On August 28, 2021, I woke up early morning at 7 a.m. and I no longer have access to my Google account. It all happened so fast. I was locked out of my phone. I even had two-factor authentication but somehow there was no notifications. I did not see any email or text or verification that was triggered when my account was hijacked. Of course, the first thing that I did was cry. <laughs> Although my channel only has 20k plus subscribers, Guys, pinaghirapan ko po yung channel ko. It took a very long time for me to monetize it. And it has been helping me augment my income as a freelancer. So my channel is very important to me. So on August 28th, when I found out that I can no longer access my channel, I really cried like a baby. Of course, hindi naman ako bobo, guys, diba? So of course, there are steps for Google recovery. However, the problem is, yung step na to, it's not helpful at all because the Google recovery process on Google support has this prerequisite that you have to have an email recovery and your phone number registered to your Gmail account. Pero ang nangyari sa akin, I was totally locked out of my account. The recovery number was changed. The recovery email was also changed. So how will I recover my account? when it was totally hacked and i was deprived of ways to recover my account so it was not helpful at all some of my subscribers reached out to me telling me na they can no longer access my channel so i posted on instagram that it was hacked and one subscriber of mine recommended contacting Sir Rodden Eco. So Sir Rodden Eco was the person who recovered the YouTube channel of Miss Chris Lumagi. Miss Chris Lumagi even has larger number of subscribers. So he was able to recover that and a lot more other famous accounts or YouTube channels that was hijacked. So I reached out to him on Facebook on that same day, August 28th. And he was able to reach out fast so throughout the process i trusted him and let him do his thing the only thing that he required me to do was download team viewer so this is a software where provides you keys or a code that you can send to another person where they can control your computer from afar. So Rodden Eco was able to operate my laptop through this application called Team Viewer, even though we are far from each other. So I really appreciate that. So the first thing that he did, he reported my hijacked channel. YouTube's response was really fast after 5 to 10 minutes. The video was taken down and my whole channel was shut down. I was really nervous at that time because will I still be able to recover it kung in a list ni YouTube? Because in the first place, what I wanted was access back to my account and not closing my channel. At some point, na isip ko rin na, if hindi ma recover ni Sir Rodin Eco yung account ko, I will stop doing YouTube. Maybe it's a sign that it's not for me. But since I'm posting this video, it means that my channel was recovered. So, how did we do it? So, the first task that we have to do is recover my Gmail account since my YouTube channel was based on my Google account. I don't know how Sir Rodden Eco is able to recover it, but on the next day, August 29th, Sir Rodden Eco called me and told me to go to my laptop. There was a prompt there on my laptop enter a verification code sent to my cell phone number at that point my recovery credential on my gmail account was already restored not sure how sir rodden eco was able to do that but yes i was able to reset my password and recover my gmail account after we have been able to recover my gmail account the next thing that sir rodden eco did was request a reinstatement of my youtube channel so after he requested the reinstatement, all we have to do is wait, right? So suddenly, Google just locked me out of my Gmail again due to suspicious activity. It has been a cycle over and over again where Google won't let me log in my account unless I change my password. So I changed my password several times and hindi pa rin naaalis yung prompt na yon. Google keeps locking me out of my Gmail account due to suspicious activity. How did we resolve this? We tried logging into my Gmail account 
through another browser. So I was using Chrome, so we tried Microsoft Edge. I also tried Crypto Tab browser. I was able to get in. So Google treats logins from my Google Chrome browser as suspicious. So I can no longer log in my Gmail account using my Chrome browser. So it turns out that what happened to me was session hijacking. So session hijacking, the hacker does not need access to your laptop or to know what your password is. Actually, this happens when someone sends you like a software. Once you open that software in your computer, they will be able to hack your account from your computer so they will be able to bypass your two-factor authentication they don't even need your password because when they do this session hijacking they are acting like you that's why there were no warnings that was sent to me everything that happened during the hijacking incident happened as if i was the one doing it it all happened as if i was the one changing the password changing the recovery email changing the recovery phone so how was i hijacked through session hijacking after everything was said and done i remembered the last collaboration email that i responded to i will post the screenshots here but the email was offering a collaboration for a promotion of a phone the email looks really legit to me so naturally since this is another earning opportunity as a content creator i responded and they responded back saying that for the terms and the script and all the other things that i need to know regarding in the collaboration i need to download a certain file that is password protected so i downloaded the file and entered the passcode but it did not work so the file that they sent me was actually not functioning so i sent a screenshot of what happened to them in my email and they never got back to me they never replied until today and after that august 28th the hacking incident happened I actually think of myself as a smart person that these things wouldn't happen to me because I know how to differentiate digit things from fraud. However, I was still victimized by this session hijacking just because I don't want to miss a collaboration opportunity. So this is a warning to all my other content creator friends out there. So basically, my YouTube was hacked from my own computer just by using a software that I put in my computer. So after back and forth emails from the YouTube content creator team, and after I reached out to at team YouTube on Twitter, after three days, finally my account was recovered. They emailed me that my account is already online, was reinstated, and all I have to do was put it in the original settings. So it has been a roller coaster, and at some point I really lost my hope that my channel will be recovered. So if this happens to you, I suggest contacting Sir Rod and Eco. He was able to help me out and he handles a lot of channels that was hijacked just like mine. So he has the experience and he has really been chill, provided me also with emotional support because I was really crying throughout the process and emotional. Just really thankful that my channel is back. We are back on schedule.